What's up, Facebook peeps? How's everybody doing today? I am, uh, I am out in my garden. <laughs> I use that term loosely. Um, we'll sit for just a second so I'm not moving around making everybody nauseous. Um, give everybody just a minute to join. Anybody that's going to join. Hope somebody's going to join. Need you guys' help. Um, I'm going to give it a minute. Hopefully you guys will, uh, somebody will come on board. Pardon the hair today. It's it's uh <laughs> it's not shampoo day. <laughs> it's also not makeup day because it's Friday and I don't wear makeup on Friday. I don't wear makeup most pretty much any day anymore. So there you go. When you see me wearing makeup, yay me. That's that's a that's a thing. So this is not an Earthrella unboxing this time around. Haha. -ha. Um, like I said, reaching out for everybody's assistance. And of course, we live by the airport, so of course we're going to have planes going by while I'm on here. And I'm not seeing anybody, but I'm hoping somebody will come on board here. And I'm going to post it, and hopefully somebody will watch it and share it around. All right, well, we're gonna jump into it. I don't see anybody on here, but I'm gonna jump into it anyway. Um, so I got this amazing gift um, today. Um, I got the first one around Mother's Day, but the first one was from my daughter. Um, actually, I should have brought that out so you guys could see it, but um, I got the second one today in the mail, and uh, apparently people are trying to make me cry, which doesn't work very well, but you know, sometimes, sometimes. Um, anyway, um, if you see it, if you know, you know. I don't think you can see it, even if I hold it really close up to the camera. Eh, you can't. I wish you could. So inside that little dot in the center there is a picture of me and my mama. Uh, it is the picture that is my profile picture, which is my favorite picture of me and my mama because it was from my wedding and we were both very happy that day. Um, I don't know who sent it. Unfortunately, they don't send them with a, um, a gift note of any kind. Um, the brand is called Wear Felicity. Um, it is an amazing brand. I think what they do is phenomenal. I love it. Um, and it's so funny because when I was struggling with the loss of my dog and the loss of my mom, all I kept thinking was, you know, I, I always try to do gifts that mean something to somebody um, that are going to hold some kind of value in your heart. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with money. I don't think it has anything to do with <clears throat> being flamboyant or anything or whatever. I think everything has to do with sentiment. Um, I think most people, most people um, appreciate sentiment. Um, I received three gifts in this last couple of months that absolutely meant mean something to me a great deal. Um, one of them was a wind chime that is absolutely beautiful. Um, it hangs in my front yard right in front of the window that I work in front of every day. Um, and it makes me smile every single time it chimes. Um, it makes me think of my mom. Um, the second one was a charm like this. Um, however, it's a dog print um, and it has a picture of my pretty baby girl in it that my daughter gave me. And then this. And I don't know who gave this to me. Um, I don't know who you are, but please let me know. Um, I cannot thank you enough um, and tell you how much this means to me. Um, it's, you know, losing mom sucked uh, a lot. Um, I miss her a great deal, but I definitely did not want my mom to struggle anymore. And my mother had struggled most of her life. Um, and. And now I know that she's at peace and she's probably with my bro and my aunt and our dogs and our family and our friends that we've lost um, some, somewhere smiling. Um, or <laughs> uh, I'll get on that story in just a second. But seriously, everybody share this, please. I would really love to know who did this. I would really love to express my thanks personally. Um, it really does mean a lot to me, a whole lot. Uh, I will probably never take it off ever. Um, so yeah, and whoever purchased this for me also knows that that 
is my happy color. Um, I don't know that that means anything to anybody here, but if you've ever been through hypnotherapy, traditionally there's a color that is predominant in your hypnotherapy, and um, that color is your happy color. It's your calm color. Um, I wore this color a lot when my brother was very sick, um, and I was also told by a therapist to to drape the color around my brow um, to give him peace, and I did, and it did. Um, so it's my happy color. It's a, like an aqua blue. Um, it was very prominent in my wedding as well. Um, but yeah, so thank you again to whomever sent this to me. I cannot express enough what this means to me. Um, truly, truly appreciate it. It really, really does mean a lot. Um, so share it, everybody, so we can find out who did this for me. Okay, I need my I need my investigators. Um, on that note, uh, the, one of the reasons I did this outside beyond just the fact that it's absolutely stunningly beautiful today, which we won't have probably the rest of the summer, um, is my garden. Um, so I have uh, I have a garden. Uh, I'm a love gardening. I love growing. Um, I'm a plant girl. I'm a tourist, so I'm an earth girl by nature. Um, and my aunt was so astounded that the city girl could actually grow things. Um, and I know that if she's looking down, she would be seeing this and she would be smiling. Um, and she does every year because every year I grow. Um, lots of tips and tricks I've learned along the way. You guys know me well enough to know that I do everything I can to be as um, organic as possible. I don't like to use chemicals in my garden. Um, I try not to use any kind of anything. You know, I don't... Uh, it, I just don't. Uh, it's just it's just my way. I don't, I don't want to kill the bees. I need the bees. We all need the bees. Um, I plant things near um, where I garden so that I can get bees. Um, fortunately, I believe we have a neighbor that actually um, has beehives, and so we've had a lot of bees this year, which is really good. Um, but yeah, so you know, we've we've released I don't know thousands upon thousands of ladybugs to kill the epidemic of aphids that I have, but to no avail really because they don't seem to stick around very long um but yeah anyway i love my garden um and i don't know how much you all believe in uh signs you know we all have our signs and we all and i'm sure everybody knows the um sign that um when your people pass cardinals uh are visitors reminding you um we have a short fat little cardinal that comes around and he's very 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 vocal um, and I am 100% positive that's my brother because um, he gives a shit every time he's here. Um, we have one kind of petite little one that comes around. She's very, very quiet. And I am 100% positive that's my aunt um, who only barks at me when she needs to. Um, and then I've had the worst time with my garden this year. Um, battling bugs really bad. Um, but... <laughs> In the last couple of weeks, I have noticed that something is eating my tomatoes. I have cherry tomatoes. We always grow cherries. Eating them. Literally getting in the bag, eating them. And I'll show you my garden in just a minute. Um, couldn't figure out what it was. Thought for sure it was squirrels. You know, of course, we're terrified it's rats. You know, who knows, right? Given the whole drill of, oh my God, what could it be? So, I have a ring camera. Um, so, I set it up in my kitchen window and had it peering down and the first night I saw a squirrel come through and I didn't see it get in the bag but I did see it come through and I thought you know that's what it's it's, it's squirrels right left the camera up kind of not really thinking about it anymore checked it yesterday and sure enough it's not squirrels it's a really big fat red cardinal <laughs> and the very first thought that came to my mind and then when I told my daughter the story came to her mind instantly is it is my mother and she is mad because she didn't make it for tomato season. <laughs> so if ever there was a sign, that would be it. Um, and it made us laugh. However, I have taken steps to to uh, keep the cardinals away um, and keep the squirrels away and so on. And I'll show you those steps. You know, natural steps. Um, but yeah, we thought that was funny. I thought that would share with you guys. So, um, so we tried a couple of different things again because I knew something was digging in the plants. I hadn't had anything eating them, but I had something digging them. Um, and I'm sure you guys have heard, and I'm going to flip the camera around while I'm talking so you can see what I'm talking about. Please stand by so I can figure out. There we go. So um, you get these at the dollar store or Target. I think I've actually shown them to you guys before. It's a, They're scent beads. You put them in your car. Um, they're just scent beads. You can get them whatever scent you want. doesn't matter. 
and you mix them with a little jar of um, vapor rub. Um, Got to be vapor rub. Um, and you put them out, and the scent supposedly keeps all the critters away. I can tell you that I have one, two, three, four of them. I think there's another one over here somewhere. They have not worked. Um, not worked at all. Um, we tried Irish Spring Soap. You can see the remnants of the Irish Spring Soap. Uh, yep, that didn't work either. So we went with things that spin and are flashy. <laughs> so all that money spent on all those things, and I spent like 10 bucks on, uh, on 12 windmills. Um, and so far they're working. Right next to the windmill we did buy the, um, it's a Sonic. Gives out a real shrill sound that only critters can hear and flashes lights. Um, so they are not currently on, but at night when we go in the house, we'll turn them on and any kind of movement will set them off. So hopefully that'll scare everything away too. But So my garden is all above ground, um, as you will see. So we have tomatoes in the back, uh, jalapeno peppers, jalapeno peppers, poblano peppers, potatoes, potatoes. Um, I have uh, cucumbers. Two sets of cucumbers. Um, and then in the back there, I have green beets. Um, lost one of them, but the other two survived. So there we go. Um, and then, for all you listening, I have herbs. So I'm an herb girl. I use herbs and everything. There's my oregano. Um, here is my basil that was all but dead when I brought it out. Um, and then I have chives and thyme and spearmint in there. If you need herbs, please let me know because <laughs> I have plenty of oregano and basil. Um, we just finished my dill. It is done for the season. Um, and then I have cilantro that I'm literally letting go so that I can collect the seeds. So dill, I had spinach. Dill, spinach, lettuce, um, and cilantro are all cool growing plants, so they like the spring and the fall. I will replant all of them, the spinach, well, probably not the lettuce. The spinach, the dill, and the oreg or not oregano, cilantro, I'll, I'll redo in the, in the uh, fall so I can get more of each of them because we love cilantro in my house. We do not possess the soap gene in my house, so that's very cool. But yeah, that's my big old garden with my kick-ass benches that my husband built for me. How cool are they? Um, so we get more space out of the little space that we do have. And for those of, those of you wondering, the reason that we grow in bags above ground, when we have such a beautiful yard, and I'll even walk back to my yard so you guys can see my yard. Um, and if you were here, if you've ever been to my house, you've seen my yard. My yard is probably my favorite place to be. Absolutely love my yard. Um, the reason that we can't grow anything in the ground in my yard, first and foremost, is because moles love my yard. Here's my yard. A nice size yard. Very, very nice size yard. We have a whole big side over here as well. All around. There's a little fire pit all done up with all the wood. But yeah, so we have a nice, nice size yard. Very, very nice size yard. About a third of an acre, I believe it is. Um, but yeah, beautiful yard. Love my yard. Uh, spend as much time as we can in our yard. Um, but we have moles. We have moles terrible. And um, this beautiful red maple that everybody that ever sees it absolutely loves. This right here. Almost died last year because of moles. Um, so they dig into the ground. And they aerate the soil. Basically, they create pockets of air that get up underneath the roots of anything. Hence the reason my azalea hair looks so bad again this year. Um, but yeah, so it aerated the soil so bad around the tree that the roots started to die. Um, and that is not a new tree. That is a very established tree. So it was rather sad. Um, but we were able, fortunately, to save it. And instead of trying the humane things with all the molds to try and just get them repelled away, um, we have battled them for years upon years now. I finally got scissor traps and started killing them because I'm all damn done. <laughs> when, they, when I attacked my maple, I couldn't do it anymore. All right, let me switch you guys back around. So, that was our, uh, that's why we plant in bags and above ground and <clears throat> in pots and such. 
um, cause I can't, I just literally can't plant in the ground because they will, they will eat everything that they can get their hands on. They don't actually eat the plants. They do on occasion, they'll eat bulbs. Um, but the worst part is they eat, um, they just aerate the ground so bad. We've lost several, um, holly bushes because they were, they were underneath the soil so bad. And like I said, we almost lost the red maple last year. So, so yeah, so we're working on it and. And the, the second reason we don't is that we have so many trees in our yard that we don't get enough sun. Um, this is literally this patio that, that I'm on is the only only place that gets the full amount of sun that almost all of the plants need. So anyway, um, like I said, if you guys could just share this, get this out there to find out who my gifter was, I would really appreciate it. Because again, I would really like to thank that person in person. Um, it meant a great deal to me. It means a great deal to me. Um, and I really do appreciate it. Um, anyway, that was all. There's my uh, there's my tips and tricks in gardening, and my my personal thank you to my gifter that sent me such a cool cool bracelet. It was very very nice. Um, anyway, all right. Well, I hope everybody's having a good Friday night. Pardon the airplanes. Um, and I hope everybody's enjoying the weather. At least if you're in Maryland, hopefully you got decent weather. Um, <coughs> anybody south? Sorry. <laughs> um, I know it's been so, so hot for so long. Um, yeah, we could use a good rain and, and I'm super enjoying the nice cooler temperatures today, even though that it's like 84 degrees and to say that that's cool, it's probably really not, but compared to the 102 that we had last week, it's been a whole lot nicer. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great night. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Get out and enjoy the sun, get your vitamin D. Um, Always helps you feel better. Serotonin levels go up. Good things. Good things. Take care of you, man. Don't forget to take care of you. So, so, so important. We get so caught up in our lives. I think a lot of us forget to do that. Um, I am probably number one on that list. So, anyway, my love to everybody. Um, take care. Catch you on the next time around. Have a good night. Okay, well, or not. Because now my phone's going to act wonky. Good night, people. <laughs>